They have it in. Uh, Uh, with like hungry, hungry I come to you for I know you're satisfied. That's just four chords. I am weary, but I know your love does not run dry. And then this would be the pre-chorus. So I'll wait for you. Yes, I'll wait for you. You can't get out of your head. That's, it's a good, it's just a good worship song. And I'm kind of talking about worship songs because that's what I do. And you can springboard off there. Uh, I wrote a, a song called Longing for the Day. And uh, it has your chorus. Uh, Creation is groaning and longing for your return. And the heavens are waiting for the day you step down on the earth. And then I wanted to, the pre chorus, and the mountains and the valleys and the seas and rhythm they sing of the bridegroom of the ages. He's coming in glory and strength. And, and uh, now that has a, a verse, which would be an A. And it has the pre-chorus because the pre-chorus, it just sets you up for a chorus. Longing for the day when you return, you come to earth. The spirit and the bride we cry love. Longing for the day when you return, you come to earth. And Israel sings a new song. And at any time, I could still go back to, and the mountains and the valleys and the seas and rhythm they sing. I mean, the pre-chorus, sometimes it's like a springboard that just shoots you to a chorus, which is, is, is uh, and you can always go back to it. It's kind of of an entity of itself, but it would be verse, and then it would be pre-chorus, and the thing about a pre-chorus is it's the same words, the same chords every time, but it just takes you to the chorus, and then you have your chorus, and then you would go to a verse, and then you'd go to that pre-chorus again, and then you'd go to your chorus. That's just a couple song forms. Uh, for bridges, for um, bridges, a lot of times, um, let me see, like, like uh, how great is our God, and this is just uh, like E, sing with me, how great is our God. That's the bridge on that song, but it's the very same chords. It's, it's E to C sharp minor uh, to B to A. Uh, so, you know, you can do, I'm just giving you lots of different songs so that you can have lots of creative license. Uh, sometimes the bridge will tell a little bit different perspective of what the song is. The verse, uh, it sets a song up. And the thing that is the hook, the, the, the thing that, that you want to grab people is your chorus. Um, and, and I know that a lot of people, sometimes they, they struggle with writing verses, but you have to remember that your verse is setting the chorus up because you have that, um, you know, um, um, one thing. over and over and over, but the verse where people get off is that they want every line of the song to be the grabber line. Uh, but but it, it doesn't, what makes a good song is when you have a chorus that pops, and the verse sets it up. The verse begins the story of the chorus that has the hook in it that grabs you. And where people get off sometimes is they feel like, oh, but my verse it just doesn't grab you. But that's, as long as it's, it's telling the story or setting up, you know, how lovely is your dwelling place, O oh Lord Almighty, my soul longs and even faints for you. But then, you know, so you're, you're, it's not bad, it's, it's a good, it's a good verse because it's a scripture, of course it's good, but it's not, the, that's not the copper. What, what is that poppers? Better is one day in your courts. Better is one day in your house. Better is one day in your courts. The thousands I swear. And then, what I love about this one is that it, this song,
song seems to kind of stair step because you have the verses that are really good, and then you, to me, it's a great chorus because you can't forget it. And literally, you can hear that chorus and you can remember it. Better is one day in your courts, better is one day. But then what I love about it is the bridge, it kind of takes you up a little bit more. It goes to the minor. My heart and How many of you know that song? Well, it just takes on a little bit of time, a kind of a song. They, they kind of bring the toms in, and it goes kind of minor. And I love to do that with, with bridges, uh, but you can do anything. But a bridge to a song, you don't have to have them, but it, 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 it just tells a different perspective. It, if you're in major, it might be minor, but it's just, it, it, it's not your typical verse. Because you have your verse, you have your chorus, you have your verse, your chorus, and your bridge is that thing that's just that little bit extra. And some songs don't have them. Um, uh, some songs have, uh, like, your first line might be the hook. Uh, when I wrote uh, Paint Your Picture, it doesn't really have a chorus in it. Uh, it goes, pick me up like a paintbrush, go off, dip it in the colors of my life, and paint your picture. Father and fashion a heart that is holy yours. Uh, it, it, there's no chorus. It's just, and that's my creative license. I get to do that. It might be, um, and write your name, write your name in the clay. And sign your name, sign your name on the picture. Uh, because I get, you can, there's lots of creative poetic licenses, but um, so you get to do whatever you want, but make yourself do it all. I mean, like, I, like, I want to give you some homework. Like, I want you to, like, you can open the Psalms uh, and write a, um, write a typical, this is what I want you to do this week. You all get to write music. But ask the Lord. I mean, uh, there's many layers of scriptures, and a lot of uh, uh, the, the commentaries say that when, when David was writing and he said to the chief musician, is that he was saying, I'm writing this to you, Jesus. You know, it wasn't just the chief musician of his choir, but David realized that God was the chief musician. The chief. He's the chief. He is the giver of all creativity. And, you know, I have heard people say, well, you know what? I hate it when someone says, the Lord gave me this song, and I think he gave it to you because he hated it. And I, I hate that. That's, it's terrible. Because God, every good and perfect gift comes from God. And if you think it doesn't, you're going to miss out on some great music. I think that he's rocking. I mean, I think that, that there's so many rhythms and beats that we haven't even stumbled onto. And like I say, because I know that there's younger people in here, this is kind of the simple of the simple uh, to really get you going. But there's all styles of music. I mean, like at the House of Prayer, we have all styles of music. And so you've got to take what works for you, take what you love, take the rhythms and the beats and the chord progressions that you love. I know that Walt loves the Beatles, so I always have to hear about the Beatles. <laughs> you know, like Paul McCartney used to sit down at the piano and just write and see how many weird chord progressions he could put in one song. So there, you, you just got to sit down and do it. And I love that because if you listen to any of their songs, you just think, where did they get that chord? What made him put that chord in that song? Well, he was sitting at the piano going, I'm going to put, uh, you know, A7 in the key of, you know, G sharp, whatever. But uh, so, just, but the, the key is to just start doing it. Uh, but I want to give you some homework. So I want you to just make yourself and use the songs as your words. But I want you to write something that has a, a verse and a chorus. Um, you know, so basically verse and chorus, that's one. And then I want you to write something that has a verse and a chorus. And the A always means verse. The B always means chorus. It's just song form. And the C always, always means bridge. Uh, so I want you to do that. And then I want you to write... 
uh, like uh, some songs tell a story. You know, write a st that's it. I want you to write a story about your life. I mean, write a song about you. Um, because that could even be in this kind of a, a format right here. You know, it could. I wrote this song uh, that I, I, get, I wrote for my dad. Um, and he loved country music. And I, I wrote this song about his farm. And I love it. And I, I started singing, I went back to the old farm and took another look around. It's still holding that old charm. And the old familiar sounds, the birds singing. And I can hear the creek flowing by. It's a picture of a memory in my mind. And um, there's, no, there's no chorus to it. But the hook in that song was, each time I do a verse, there's a picture of a memory in my mind, the bridge was, I remember cutting wood Sunday afternoon, all the while I'm wishing I was through. Pick up trucks and a car pale blue, seems I remember wrecking one, maybe two. <laughs> uh, and, and, but that was my line, and I, I sang it to my dad. We, I sang it to him at his 60th birthday, and he was just in tears. But I, I, what I followed, that, that song structure was a verse, and a verse, and a bridge, and a verse. Uh, I mean, that's all it was. And, but it was a real, and I, I encourage you, uh, and I, I literally took the things of my life, uh, you know, I went back to the old farm, I mean, I just, because my dad, I grew up on a farm. And, and my dad grew up on the farm that he grew up on. I mean, I, that I grew up on was his farm, and, and that had a lot of meaning. So, you know, write, write about you. Um, make yourself do that. So you have three pieces of homework. You have, number one, write a verse and chorus. And I think it's always easier to start with the chorus. You know, just do some of these chord progressions, and we're going to do it in a minute. And then I want you to write a verse, chorus, and a bridge. And you can always, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times like uh, uh, better is one day, well that is, it's a verse, and a verse, and a chorus, and a verse, and a bridge, no, a verse, verse, chorus, oh no, a, a chorus, and then a bridge, back to the chorus, that's what that is. Um, but just experiment, and then, I, and then I want you to write about you. I mean, write about your life. What, what do you remember uh, from, from growing up? And, um, but what I want to do is I want us to open. How many of you have your Bible? Because the key is I just want you to start, I want you to start singing, and I want you to start writing. So you, I would like for you to play um, like A minor to F to C and to G. And I need.